Hi, so I'm Professor Zubair Jangir, and today I'll be giving you all important tips for your SLCM paper. Now, for those who are giving the exam for the first time, remember to carry these important documents with you. That is your student identity card, your admit card, and your photo ID, a Xerox of which will also be fine. Now. Coming to some important tips, especially from the securities law subject paper. How do you start and how do you complete it just before your exams? Now remember that whenever you start your paper around five marks, answer should get over in seven minutes. Therefore, you carry your watch with you to time yourself correctly. Second, the first part of your paper, the very beginning, जैसे तुम चालू करे the moment you are starting. the first the first question will have three two to three practical questions so around 10 to 15 marks practical questions which you can score full it's extremely easy the entire sums marathon i have taken i am putting it in the link in the description you can go and complete this first so that your sure 10 to 15 marks is in your pocket Now the second thing is uh, whenever you're writing the paper, remember to read the question paper uh, properly and choose the correct option which you feel will get you more marks. The third is very very important. Your SLCM paper will have direct questions where you can just write the answer, and it will also have situ situational sums. Now when I say situational uh, questions. now what are situational questions they will make a question uh, in the form of a situation mr ram he is the company secretary he wants to take over the company you know similar that way and then you have to write the answers now remember there is no format for situational questions but this format is normally accepted and preferred by the institute so first when you read the situational question in your answer you will write the facts of the case now facts of the case you will read the question you will come to know what are the facts and just write it down second you will write the question involved what question are they asking you in the exam the same thing you will write whether the director should be removed whether the person should be caught for insider trading punished for insider trading or no etc just write the question then the third part is where you will write the provision of law that time you should know your law well you should know from which chapter it is you should know your regulation number you should know the name of the act in which year it was passed and the section numbers as well now remember if you know the section number only then you quote because if you don't know the question number uh, the section number and you write it wrong you will get a straight zero so risk is too high to guess the section number so preferably write down all the section numbers in the start in the index so that you don't make mistake while quoting it in your exams so it's always highly recommended to write the section number as well and then in the end you will conclude that in light of the provisions above okay in the facts above okay thus according to the uh, aforesaid and then you will conclude your answer Now remember, you can use this as your format. Not necessary that this is the only format. You can write it in own paragraph forms as well. Now remember the next important thing I want to take you through is studying while studying. For example, you are studying, uh, starting to prepare. What you can do is you have to understand that your subject has two parts: part A and part B. Know your uh, most important chapters. okay and ensure that you complete them first also remember 15 marks practical question is a total bonus it is very predictable please do that thoroughly whenever you want to study and these are your category a chapters and remember lodr provisions i have taken marathon and this is your new regulation which has been introduced the 2021 regulations so remember to do these regulations properly i have taken a marathon i am keep putting all of those uh, in this uh, description below so you can go and study properly okay so uh, with this 
I conclude and wish you all the very best for your securities law paper. Don't worry, moment you crack the first 15 marks, then remember direct questions are very easy to attempt. And situational questions, just write the format. It will be very easy for you because even if you are guessing or you don't know very well, but moment you write the facts of the case, your uh, question involved, provision of law, you will know. With that, it at least gives a very good impression on the examiner. So wish you all the very best. I sign off. Take care.